After collecting the trichomes, the leftovers still have cannabinoids that I can use in a topical. A quick wash ethanol technique called QUET is an easy way to extract them. During trichome collection, the cannabis flower particles were reduced to a smaller size than typically seen in YouTube QUET extractions. The smaller particles transfer more chlorophyll into the ethanol. I'd rather have an amber color in my topical. Color is easily changed. Light breaks down chlorophyll quickly. Plants manufacture a steady supply of replacement chlorophyll. Fall colors result from a reduction in that chlorophyll production. The time-lapse video shows ethanol's color change under bright light over one and a half hours. The amber color was what I wanted. To recover ethanol, I use a still spirits distillation unit. The amber colored ethanol is poured into the distiller. This next time lapse shot shows the still spirits unit recovering the ethanol. I keep an eye on the recovery's progress. When I see that approximately 80% of the ethanol is recovered, I turn off the unit and let it cool down before taking the top off. I use a 60 ml syringe to transfer the remaining ethanol mixture into a double boiler to finish the process of ethanol removal. The boiling water in the bottom part of the double boiler heats the ethanol mixture in the top part. Once the mixture stops shrinking, the ethanol is gone and decarboxylation begins. The small bubbles of carbon dioxide that form show the progress of the decarboxylation. When the formation of small bubbles slows and the size of the mass of bubbles shrinks, decarboxylation is nearing completion. At this point, I mix in enough organic sunflower oil that I can use a syringe to remove the mixture from the bowl once it cools. This is the CBDA and CBD ointment I've been making for years. Now that I have my five allowed homegrown cannabis plants, I can start adding THCA and THC to future batches of my topical.